Hello, this video is about the email settings in the Contact Form 7 plugin. For most people, the settings in the Contact Form 7 mail tab will work ok and you won't have to change them. But if you do have problems, remember this. The email address you use in Contact Form 7 should belong to your website. Don't use a Gmail or Yahoo address. If you do have problems, I'm about to show you the settings I use and they work for me. Now, if you look at this uh, mail tab here, it's using a Yahoo email address and that's because the user who made the form used a, a Yahoo address when they set up the WordPress website. But in our forms we can change the email address that's used because you might have problems if you use a Yahoo or a Google address. The first thing you need to do most people who have a website have cPanel or something similar to cPanel. So you need to go into your web hosting cPanel and set up two new email addresses. You could use info at your domain and WordPress at your domain. But you want to make sure you change your domain to whatever your website is actually called. The important point is that your email address must match your domain name. So if your domain name was fredshoeshop.com, the email address would be info at fredshoeshop.com and wordpress at fredshoeshop.com. You need to set up those email addresses in cPanel and your cPanel is provided by your hosting company. So after you've made the email addresses and you've tested them to make sure they work, you need to go to your dashboard, contact, contact forms, I'm going to add a new contact form and if I click the mail tab contact form 7 when you click add new it makes you a basic form you can change that if you want to I need to click the mail tab and now I need to change these email addresses in the tool box I'm going to delete the Yahoo email address and type in the email address for my domain and in the from box I'm going to really carefully remove the Yahoo email address that's there leaving the corner brackets, don't delete those corner brackets and in that one I'm pasting my wordpress at yourdomain.com and remember you've got to change the yourdomain.com to whatever your domain is so if it was Fred's Shoe Shops it would be wordpress at fredshoeshop.com now in the subject box the name of your website will be here. This is a test website, that's why it says there's a CF7 test site. On your website, if it was called fredshoeshop.com, it would say subject fredshoeshop.com there. So in there, type something that will make it easy to understand that this email that arrives with the form information is from your website. So in there I typed form submission from our website. Don't change the short code leave the short code because that's also needed. Don't forget to type a name for your form and click save. Now to use the form we just highlight this short code here, copy it and we paste that into our web page. We need to either make a new page or open the page we want to use. I've already got a web, web page ready called Contact Us. And we just paste that short code in there. I usually use the text tab, paste the short code in, click update, and now we'll view the page. And there's our form. Now if somebody goes to our website and fills in the form, if you look at this subject section of the form that they fill in, that text that they type, that the user types, is sent to your email address via this subject box where it says your subject. But when we receive the email, this is the text that the user typed in, this new new logo needed, 
export this form submission from our website is this text that we typed into the subject box. Under the mail tab when we went to contact, contact forms, we added a new one and then we click the mail tab and this is the subject section of the mail tab. And when you open the email you see the message that they've sent you. And don't forget, for most people, the email settings will work just fine out of the box without you having to change anything. If you do have problems, the settings in this video should fix the problems for you. Thanks for watching and bye for now.